Have you ever had a breast biopsy because microcalcifications were seen on the mammogram? Well, I'm Dr. Wolf, I'm a pathologist, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So even though you might follow me for my forensic pathology content, I am also a surgical pathologist. And one of the things we do is we look at a lot of breast tissue. So I'm gonna show you what microcalcifications look like. Now, this is a very low power magnification. This is probably 20X. Um, and you can see these darkened areas right here. Those are the calcifications, but we're gonna zoom in. Now, as we zoom in closer, you can see that there are these little white areas here. Those are fat, fatty globules, so we're in the fatty tissue of the breast. But also, breast has this kind of fibrous tissue, and then these are ducts within the breast. That is where we look for the microcalcifications, is inside these ducts. Now this is where you can really see it. So you can see the epithelial lining of the ducts, and then you can see these dark uh, but refractile areas which look kind of sharp. Those are the calcifications. So this breast tissue is actually normal, but microcalcifications can be a marker of abnormal growth, which is why they do sometimes trigger breast biopsies because we're looking for things like ductal hyperplasia, ductal carcinoma in situ, or invasive carcinoma. This breast tissue was removed surgically for another reason, uh, but I wanted to show you this because it was a good example of what they look like.